about to react to the trailer. I'm awesome. This Ninja Turtles. Boys, where have you been? <laughs> We're just running errands. That's it? No. Jackie can splitter. I'm really sorry, Splinter. No. Some of the guys wanted to get pizza and I tried to talk them out of it. <laughs> you ratted us out. Hey. Don't use that word that way. I mean, it's Sorry, Dad. <laughs> oh, God, copyright music. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles of the Half Shell, Turtle Power. What would you guys do? Go to high school? Oh, God, no more copyright. Can you imagine ah, that? Ah. Not likely. Ah. You can't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? About you. Our dad is definitely not a giant rat. Is it playing? I'm, I'm so it. scared that it's gonna play copyright of music in this video. Oh my god, bro. Uh, all three. Because he kills everyone who does. Oh. 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 No, not cool. Eh, a bit cool. Can I change? Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles, please don't sue me. He's making a deal tonight under the Brooklyn Bridge. God, he's awesome. Whoa. Whoa. Chick, 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 chick. Super fly! Awesome little tortoises, huh? I can't believe there are other mutants! You wanna roll with us? You wanna roll with us? Uh, yes, I do. You're never gonna like us. He's so the rock the steady, bro. I wanna hear John Cena. People's they got to go. Okay, um, sort of a twist. Uh, okay. We can't stop I don't him. Hear we gotta try. Music. I think we killed. Six I think we killed us. Holy sat my dog. Can I Oh god. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Jesus mutant ninja turtles. Please don't freaking copyright sue me. Oh, we're about to react to the trailer. How's it going, guys? Cinema man. I made way too many videos today because way too many stuff. So too, too much stuff was going on. My plans were just to make that one Fast and Furious video about the spoilers. And I promise you guys, I'm not going to be making... I'm going to make one more Fast and Furious video, and I'm going to be done until some major news comes up. I'm not going to be posting any edits or anything Fast and Furious after this. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I originally just planned for my Fast Spoiler review to come out today. And then I was like, you know what? I've not made any... Spider-Verse con content whatsoever, so I tried to spit some of that out for you guys today because I, I want you guys to know that Spider-Verse is one of my most anticipated movies of this year, so yeah, I, I did check out, I, I will be checking out Spider-Verse pretty soon, and I also uh, would like to mention right here, uh, I, I just wanted to try to get everyone hyped for Spider-Verse, which is the main reason I made this. And then the Ninja Turtles trailer 2 dropped, and this is what I have been waiting for forever. Because I finally wanted to see if my theory about Jackie Chan Splinter was true, and it turns out it was. Now before I go ahead and dive into my full trailer breakdown, I just want to say that I tried to react to the trailer, and uh, it had some copyright music in it. I don't even know if I'm going to post that video, who knows, I might use it as in this video. Uh, or it, it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to see it, whether I post it, uh, somewhere other than YouTube, I might start a TikTok just to post that trailer reaction, because, uh, it had copyright music, and, uh, I was muting, turning off and on the mute, and, like, I would turn on the mute as soon as I heard copyright music coming out of someone's mouth, but anyway, let's go ahead and my thoughts about the trailer, and the one thing that I do want to say is that the splinter theory that I did have that I never talked about because I don't know why but I didn't make a video on the Ninja Turtles Mean Mayhem trailer one but here I'm gonna make a video on trailer two my thoughts on the first trailer is it was a simple fun little teaser and I thought they made bold choices and one was with splinters design when he had the afro I thought since the babies were in a back picture with all these Christmas lights, and that scene had some Christmas lights in it, that I thought that Splinter with the Afro was a, uh, was a kind of, it wasn't going to be him in the whole movie, I thought it was going to be a flashback, but, uh, it turns out, it wasn't him, my theory was correct, 
but the design they went with was also a pretty bold one, needless to say. And you know, I'm just gonna start breaking the trailer down. There was such a clever, played out way to start it, and like more footage with it was amazing. And right here's where I want to talk about the Splinter design choice. And I do think it's pretty bold, but he has the iconic, like, purple suit on that we see in, like, the 90s TV show and, like, the earlier movies, the earlier live-action movies that we see. And I'm gonna be honest, Splinter looks good here, but it's just the, uh, just all the different, like, I don't know, like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know my full opinions on it. It just looks weird for right now. And I'm sure it'll be like one of those things with Mario where we will get used to it. But I'm loving the designs of the Ninja Turtles more this trailer than I did last. And like, see the colors feel like more popping out of every single Ninja Turtle here. Like Raphael looks like Raphael. Also something I noticed is that they brought back the thing from the older TV show, from the older cartoons and in the movie and in the show was where they have the letter of all of their names on them and I'm pretty sure that's something they didn't include in the Michael Bay movie or the 2012 TMNT movie. I don't exactly remember if they used that or not. But still, this is a pretty cool scene to, like, look on upon, especially since the Ninja Turtles do look amazing in the shot. Also, another thing I noticed watching this was that, if you notice, Mikey doesn't have his braces on in this shot. And if you look at other shots, like, in, like, the his character poster, Mikey, like, in the reveals... Mikey actually has braces on here. His braces are nowhere to be seen, so let's just see what they do with that. Because we saw in some shots that Mikey did have braces on. Here we get another shot that shows something similar to what would happen in the Michael Bay movies where the turtles would sneak out, not, like, being allowed to go outside. And, like, I don't know, like, this just reminds me of it for some reason. But it's not going to have as much wacky and goofy gear as the Michael Bay movies did. And I just love little shots like this and attention to detail. Where you just see Mikey staring out on the city. Similar to something he did in the Michael Bay movies. At the very beginning when the rest of them would stand outside and sing that song. Because we see that flashback in the first movie. And... I don't know, this is just kind of a hint that they want to be real teenagers that we do get later in this trailer when they're in their bunk bed scene. Then we obviously get the shot from the first trailer with them in their bunk beds and stuff like that. And the theme that I just touched upon is that every uh, is that they want to be teenagers, which you see expressed in this scene. And another thing is all their beds kind of resemble their personality. Like, Mikey's kind of the more scatterbrained one, and he has all, like, a cheetah print blanket, it looks like, and a star bunk bed, sort of. Raphael has the more messy, uh, like cluttered up rough looking bed describing like his personality and how he can just be a violent raging mess if he gets out of hand leonardo obviously being the more organized one over here with this kind of section as you see there's little sword marks up on the brick wall right there obviously probably from where he's been practicing with his katana and we do know that Leonardo is the leader of the Ninja Turtles, so he's probably going to be more organized than the rest of them. Except for maybe Donatello. And then Donatello's space is more like him. You see some books over there. There's like a little game area. You can see headphones on his lap and headphones around his neck. He, he is more of a tech-heady spot than most of them because like... All their bunks kind of represent their personality, sort of. Then we get a shot of each individual turtle doing, like, their own thing to their own bad guy. Like, we have Raphael kicking this dude. And then Leonardo with his sword here. And keep in mind, these guys are teenagers, and I like what they're doing here. Leonardo looks like he's about to go full crazy on this guy. 
And then Donatello smacking this guy down with his stick. And so, and this is going to be like a bar fight scene, judging on the background, when you see a pool table in kind of a billiards area. And then Mikey just smacking these guys. And bro, what is wrong with that dude's face? He looks like a monster from Hotel Transylvania. Like, I just love the visuals in this trailer. Like, I cannot stretch that enough how these comic book animation styles have done so good recently. Like, today I was even talking about it in my last video. How Puss in Boots did so good. Here it just looks as good as most. And we get more of April in this trailer showing how she's going to later become a detective. And here's another shot where we get to see them all and it looks so bright and colorful. I just love seeing all four of the turtles together. And April makes a good addition to this picture too. Then we get a shot of what seems to be someone planting bombs on a truck as we see it explode minutes later. I honestly am so confused about whose hand that could be. Like, part of me thinks, oh, it's probably a mutant, and then when I first saw it, I thought it was April, because the hand kind of looks darker, and you have the sleeve, but then I realized it could most likely be a glove. And this shot of just the trailer exploding just looks so good, and I just wonder why this is getting blown up. I guess we'll have to wait and figure out in the movie. And we see a car hurtling towards these police officers. And just like, dang, like, what's, what's, what is going on? Because this looks like the same van that just got the back of it blew up. And as the trailer progresses, there's another shot of this van kind of like flying. And I'm like, is this something that Donatello did as kind of like a gadget? Or what is happening here? Like, seriously, this whole van situation is like so confusing especially if you like look at everything going on here once again i would like to say and credit this for how unique their animation is just not ripping off into the spider-verse completely while keeping it like their own sort of looking animation and this is where we get the foreshadowing that when april's older she will become a news reporter because she's working in this room finding out clues about super and then we get this board, like, who is Superfly and all of that. And I am so confused about one thing right here. Knowing who Baxter Stockman is, is a confusing way to put it for me. Because I'm staring at this tiny little picture behind April. Because in the TMNT world, uh, Superfly is Baxter Stockman. And obviously right here we see a poster that says, who is Superfly? And this is very confusing to me because I cannot tell if this picture right here is Baxter Stockman or not, which I don't know what's going on. Because if you don't know, Baxter Stockman is a character in the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle world who is kind of obsessed with evolution and ends up creating mutants such as Bebop and Rocksteady. But here I'm confused because Baxter Stockman is played by an entirely different person the person who plays Superfly, and it would be a big deal if Baxter Stockman went miss it, disappearing and missing in this world, because Baxter Stockman is a very famous man in the Ninja Turtles universe, and from what I know. Also, Baxter Stockman also was one of the main bad villains in TMNT Out of the Shadows. So anyway, I don't know if that's something that we'll just have to speculate on our own, but bear with me here, guys. And then right here in this shot, they're in a square area. This almost reminds me of when the Ninja Turtles snuck into the Jumbotron and out of the shadows, if you know what I'm talking about. And then we get a little vision of them going to high school, and this honestly looks like any kind of fan art of the Ninja Turtles that you'll see on Google. Honestly, this shot of the Ninja Turtles wearing clothes is hilarious. Then you have right here where they're kind of setting up a little battle on the bridge because we hear that Superfly is underneath Brooklyn Bridge. Then we have a shot of our Ninja Turtles kind of skydiving and landing on the bus. And it seems like they're trying to hijack this little truck here for whatever that is. This will be a cool little high scene in the movie if it's actually a heist. Then right here, in a bus of some kind, a great little tease to the Ninja Turtle Mobile with them just sitting in it right here. And I don't know what this is about, 
but they are about to talk to Superfly. And then we get our first look at Superfly, which I want to be honest with you guys. He looks freaking menacing in this movie. Like, look at this guy. He's got, like, a hook for a hand. You can also see a little bit of Rocksteady's face in the back. Then you see a little bit of the Ninja Turtle mobile, kind of a work in progress for right now. Superfly, I don't know. Like, every time I see this guy, I get more and more positive with the design for Superfly. And it's just like, this has made bold choices with designs. But the only one that I've been skeptical on ever has been, has been Splinters. All of these other choices are all bold. But I do love the choice for Superfly that they made. Then we have a look of all of these different mutants. We don't even see Cynthia Utron here, which I'm excited to see her voiced by Maya Rudolph. We have Rocksteady in the background. Bebop on the other side of Superfly. This is a hard shot to get, so let's just zoom in on everyone. So right here, we have Rocksteady. Then we have Bebop. Then we have the Genghis Frogs right here where we... I feel like there's another Genghis Frog over here. We have Mondo Gecko on the side who will be voiced by Paul Rudd. And some other mutant characters that I am not 100% familiar with. But that's who I got right from this shot. Then we get a look at this mutant and holy crap that thing looks terrifying. And honestly, I am loving... The designs for Bebop and Rocksteady. The way, like, Rocksteady's eyes are just looking. I get their names confused. I'm pretty sure the hog is Bebop and the rhino is Rocksteady. And me personally, there could be no better voice casting for those two. John Cena, in my opinion, perfect for, for Rocksteady. And, I mean, Seth Rogen, you've literally voiced a warthog before. Now you're going to voice Bebop. That's literally perfect. And honestly, I love their designs. Like, honestly, they look similar to what they did in the Michael Bay movies, but better. Then we see what looks to be the Genghis Frogs. We see a frog here, Bebop and Rocksteady, which shows that they might be changing their origins. Then we see this huge mutant towering over the city, which I think might be an old upgraded version of Superfly. Then we hear Paul Rudd's voice as Mondo Gecko. And man, doesn't even sound like Mondo Gecko or not even look like it. But I'm sure we'll get used to it in the movie. And this is one shot of the trailer that I'm loving. It is a callback to the most recent Ninja Turtles uh, TV show on Nickelodeon. Where the poster that we originally got looked exactly like this one doing the same thing with a moon on the exact same building and if you don't know this building with a water tower has had a lot of good scenes and even had a scene in tmnt 2012 bro superfly looks awesome and right here it kind of looks claymation and we get another shot of splinter i i can't say enough how jackie chan is the perfect voice cast for splinter and Mikey's looking sad right here. I have no idea why he's sad, but it's most likely has something to do with Splinter. They could go down the route where Splinter dies, and that explains why they're off alone so much in this trailer with Splinter not doing anything about it. And not to mention the only two shots we have of Splinter is that one of him in his chair and him in the flashback. Which, honestly, I don't want Splinter to die, but they might go down that route. Then we have a shot like this one where they're all standing right there with their weapons out. This reminds me of some of the times in Michael Bay movies. Before they would go in a fight, they would all stand in this kind of cool pose where they could make like 20 posters with it. Not to mention this is also the start of the trailer. And then we see the Ninja Turtle mobile here looking more sharped up and something tells me that this will be in like a finale scene of the movie even with a cannon on top of the mobile i feel like this will just be a white band that they kind of renovate into this mobile like as they have done in previous lures and there was my trailer breakdown for the teenage mutant ninja turtle